Yo, what's up YouTube? My name is JMO and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this really cool transition in After Effects. This is another card dance transition. I think this is the third one on the channel, so make sure to go tune into those other ones that are linked down in the description. But I think this is the best one so far because this is kind of the most different and it's kind of treated like a displacement map a little bit in this one. So let's just hop right into this. So I'm going to be transitioning from this clip right here and to this clip. So off rip, what I'm going to do is add on the built-in card dance effect here and i just went ahead and named my layers one and two so i just click on the layer click enter and then name it and click enter again and basically for gradient layer one what you're going to want to do is set that to number two which is the second clip you're transitioning into and then when you open up your z position right here you're going to go ahead and change the source to intensity one and this is going to bring up these boxes here obviously these are a lot bigger we want them to be a lot smaller so i'm going to set them to 300 for rows and columns for now and then later we're going to go ahead and change that to 800 but really it's pretty simple this is actually the setup and we're almost done already that's why i i really like this effect because i've never seen card dance used this way i'm sure someone's used it this way i just haven't seen it but that's why it, you know i was just messing around with it and it was actually a happy accident so i'm really happy with how this turned out so basically right around here i'm gonna set a keyframe for multiplier at zero and then later in the clip like maybe say right around here i'm going to just set it to about five i can move this keyframe over and the way that i just pulled up those keyframes is i just click u on my keyboard this is u for used and it's really simple um, and then i'm just going to go ahead and highlight them and do f9 to easy ease them and then go ahead and bring up my speed graph and then maybe do something like that i don't know and actually now i'm not going to touch my speed graph and basically it's going to be displacing the layer to this second clip here so when i make that visible you can kind of see like the outline of his head right here and then you can see that's exactly where he is here so depending on where you move this it's going to kind of line up exactly with this clip right here and then you can kind of just go ahead and play with these keyframes as much as you like before i mess with the second clip that we're transitioning Positioning into this is what it's going to look like so pretty solid so far so now before we mess with the second clip we're actually just going to have to render out this first card dance effect so go ahead and just export this real quick so you can go ahead and drag that rendered clip in here and then just replace it where this one is so you can go ahead and delete that clip or just bring it over here for now you want to make sure not to move this second clip at all because it's basically embedded into the clip that you just rendered out so just make sure not to touch that so now i'm going to add on the card dance effect to this this second clip right here and i'm going to set the gradient layer to number two so just set the gradient layer to itself don't set it to the first one or anything and then what you'll do is again set the rows and columns to something like 300 for now and then you can change that to 800 later but for the sake of the tutorial i think i'm just going to leave it at that but if you set it to 800 it's just going to be super detailed and everything then again in z position i'm going to go and set that to intensity one and then you can just kind of mess with this however you want to there's nothing like really in particular you have to do here you can blast these values up as much as you want so i'll just keyframe my multiplier there and then at the end of the clip right before it returns to normal i'm going to set it to zero so it returns to normal and then go ahead and easy ease those keyframes and now here i am going to mess with the speed graph and i just want to kind of have a lot of this happening near the end because i think that that's what looks the best and so now obviously this doesn't look very ideal so what we're going to do is add on the luma key to the second clip and then go ahead and set a keyframe for a threshold on the first frame and then bring it up until everything slowly disappears like that so i actually just brought it up to the max 255 and then on the last clip go ahead and bring it down to i think around eight is what i had it on uh, don't bring it all the way down to zero otherwise it'll kind of make a bit of a stuttering effect at the end of there so then again bring up your used keyframes and then highlight those easy ease them with f9 or right click go to keyframe assistant and click easy ease and then open up your speed graph and then again mess with the speed graph however you want to and i think i'll have it do something similar 
similar maybe bring it a little bit further over to the left and as you can see it's just going to kind of slowly bring everything in really naturally and i think it's going to look really good like that and right now we have something that looks like this and then another thing you can do is create an adjustment layer and then add on the built-in hls effect and then right about here before the car dance transition starts to take place set a keyframe for hue at zero and then right at the end when it returns to normal just have it go through one full rotation like that and you guys are going to get some cool color variation in there and then the other thing you can do is add on lumetri color and then go ahead and set your keyframes just for all of them at the beginning as normal and then go ahead and copy those keyframes to the end here and in the middle what you can do is blast up the contrast bring down the shadows up the whites uh up the highlights you know stuff like that maybe play with a bit of the saturation and then maybe just adjust those values a bit and you're gonna have something that looks like this which looks really awesome and then the most important part in my opinion is go ahead and trim the adjustment layer and then add on some rsmb this is just uh, some motion blur this is what it looks like with motion blur and this is what it looks like without motion blur so obviously that makes a huge difference and it's going to add a lot of smoothness to the texture of the clip and yeah man if you guys want to save time while editing make sure to check out my website i do have a special deal going on right now so if you guys add the complete 3d bundle to your cart you can also get any editing pack of your choice for completely free if you add that pack to your cart also i appreciate you guys for tuning in as always man god bless peace out Thank you.